12 out from the line. Schifoletti. Away from Riolo. Pincinelli. Langer went in with that tackle that has uh, come under scrutiny. And Petey goes in with the arms first. Cross to Neal. Back inside for Schifoletti. Space. 12 metres out from the line. Brisbane not coming up on the other side of the ruck when the play goes one way. Illawarra will hurt them if they continue that. John Simon just running out of support. Puts one out the back. Riolo keeps it alive. To Schifoletti to grab up. Dunn is in pursuit. The big man. Oh, he missed it. I don't know. I think it's a try. Well, yes, it is. Let's have a look at this one. I thought Dunn missed the football and I thought the man trailing him actually knocked on. In goal touch judge was again consulted. Interesting this one, Raz. 43rd minute. Illawarra 6 4 with a kick to come. Well, this man has made the decision, the touch, uh, the in goal judge. I've got a feeling Billy Dunn misses the ball completely and the follower gets a hand to it. Well, Dunn's missed it and, and there's a knock on. No That's try. No try. I can't believe, again, the in goal touch judge not obscured by players, has made another blue. Well, how far away is he? About four inches? He's kidding this bloke. It's not the same bloke as last week, is it? Well, well they, they both knocked on, if you look at it closely. Now, Madison has been sent to the sin bed. I think lots of the Broncos players had something to say about this decision, and why wouldn't they? They must be very upset about it. The Steelers supporters are happy. They've had some luck. But in the fair of the department, this bloke at the back here, they should... Tip him straight out in the sea. Wollongong Ocean, whatever it is out here. There he is. <laughs> the Wollongong, what? <laughs> whatever it is. It's been, Have a look called, at him. it's been called the Pacific yeah, since you. Captain Cook. The Wollongong Ocean. Well, a geography lesson there from Paul Borton. There's a conversion about to be taken. But at fair it did take five minutes before someone finally forced the ball. <laughs> the Wollongong Ocean. How would you miss it? How dead set would you miss it? Wishart has got the attempted conversion. Well. Can't believe it. Wishart gets the two. Well, the tail of the tape is a try that wasn't a try. They've got a bloke sent to the sin bin, Madison, for 10. And Wishart gets the extras. 8-4 in favour of Illawarra at the 45th minute. And I guess the only saving grace from this no try, there's Bill Dunn. That's a knock on. That's the second knock on. There's the ball, ball finally forced by Ryan Girdler. But as I say, the only saving grace is the fact that this game, really, with the composition of the final five, doesn't mean too much. It's not as though some team is going to miss the five or miss out on a top three spot. Well, that bloke, he'll be in goal touch judging in Alice Springs next week in the third grade comp. They don't have them there. That'll be up near the Darwin Ocean. <laughs> Bedell to play it. Uh, Ayers Rock Lake. Away from Schifoletti for Pintanelli. Well, now I'm getting some advice from downstairs that maybe there's a question mark on the conversion attempt of Rod Wishart there's a feeling that there's a feeling that he missed the kick at goal let's have a look at it if we can watch it watch it oh he's missed it. well he's missed the kick at goal <laughs> oh no oh we'll tip a lot of them in the Wollongong Ocean a lot of them but the goal has gone on the board it's 8-4 in favour of Illawarra